So first we want to use uh, some rubbing alcohol and clean the uh, clean the outside here. Here's the cone. Do the same thing. This is how it fits. Fits right on top like that. You put a glue in here, and then the ring I was telling you about goes on the outside here, along with the clamp it goes on the outside here. So I'm gonna put some glue there for us. Doesn't it show? Let's put it so you can see that. Try to spread it evenly all the way around. I'll probably use my finger after this just to spread it out. I think this tube is more than enough for this speaker. Just trying to get it spread evenly here. And I'm just going to grab the foam right on top. Put my fingers at the bottom, push the cone up on both sides. So it touches. Take one finger, take both, hand, both hands actually. Take one hand. Still have one hand at the bottom. Bring it around the side. Do the same thing. Don't worry about the excess glue because when it dry, I'm sure I can use a uh, toothpick and remove all that excess glue. It's not a big deal, but if you want to remove it, yeah, that's what I would do. Use like a toothpick and just roll it up. So you let this sit for an hour. Looking at it, it will look good. It's flush. I know I said in part two of this video is gonna show this, so it's probably gonna merge two videos together. Make sure I don't have any uh, any space, but so far it's good. As a matter of fact, I have like a little straw where I can just spread the glue if I want to. Make sure it gets in there. Take out the excess, or I can clean it up after. I said I could probably use a Q-tip for this. Or a coffee store. That's good. I'm gonna leave this sit for an hour to dry, and uh, then I'll put the, uh, the ring on the outside. And I put I have the clamp. There's two things: you have a ring and a clamp. I'll show you uh, after after we come back after this dry for a couple hours, and uh, we'll put a clamp on there. Thanks for watching.